All right, so the very first method that I have for programming church lighting with Onyx is the whole service method. And as this sounds, you can kind of see here, I've got um, both a visualizer up here with kind of a, you know, fairly generic kind of, this is a, your average church, probably have more lights than some people, may have less lights than others. And um, then I've got Onyx. So this is formerly Martin's MPC, now Alation slash Obsidian's Onyx. You might be familiar with this. It's become very popular in churches because you can start out and use uh, at this point in time four universes of output for absolutely free. So the whole service method is really simple, but it's great for those circumstances where you don't need a complex setup. So I've gone in here, I've got my lights patched, I've got some basic presets built. If you need any help with this, check out my YouTube series that'll pop up here on the basics of Onyx. Um, and, and we got all that set up. So now we just need to build some basic looks. So I'm literally just gonna go ahead and, and knock out some quick looks here. So I'm gonna go ahead and first set up a look for pre-service. So I'm just gonna grab some of my lights here. I'll go ahead and maybe set these guys to a nice blue before church. Then I've got some front light ones, and you know what? I don't want those to be so bright. So I'm just gonna dial that blue back a little. Now I usually use the virtual dimmer, but for some reason in this show file, I built it a few years ago and I didn't, but that's okay. Then we'll just go ahead and uh, record this guy. Boom, as pre-service. Now in Onyx, there's a, there's a couple different places you could record things. If you have hardware like an M-Touch, then down here on the bottom is going to be your M-Touch faders and buttons. But if you don't have any hardware, uh, then you're going to want to use the playback buttons window. And you can literally at any point, you could just copy this or you could record it like I just didn't press any of these buttons or I'm going to go press copy, copy this and put it here. And with the whole service method, what you can do, which is really cool with this window, is you can customize this to be the exact size that you want it to be. So I can go in here and, and I can do this after I'm done and I can set the amount of rows and columns. So say I just want one row, oops. And then I'm gonna set the number of columns to five and uh, that might be enough buttons, it might not be. So as we go through our service, I just wanna record things in. So. For example, we probably start our, our service off with a song, right? Most churches start off with the song. So I'm going to bring my front wash to full. Should I use the preset? Now I will. I'm going to go ahead and um, just grab these lights, put them in a different look. And, and this is a simpler setup. Um, this isn't lighting per song here, but just some overall ambience to the, to the room. So maybe I'll put these guys in uh, a nice cyan. And then I'll turn on my moving lights here and I'll go put them into some positions maybe. Let's take those beams to the ceiling. And then I'll go give my moving lights some colors. Maybe we go blue with those washes and the beams. Could maybe go red for a nice red blue look. Same with the spots. And so this could be what we use for our music time, just to look like this, maybe pop a gobo in. And so now we've got our music, right? So we'll go ahead, boom, make that cue, call it music. Again, I could have recorded this here or I can record it to these buttons if I don't have hardware. So I'm just gonna copy it over just like that. And so next I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an announcement, a welcome or, or welcome slash preaching, if it's even that simple. Again, as many elements of your service as you have, you can create different cues. The whole service method really, though, is all about it making simple for your volunteers. You might have a dedicated volunteer for lighting, or maybe it's somebody who's also running other elements of your service, such as the audio person or the person running the lyrics or somebody running the live stream or something else like that. So... The, the point of the whole service method is to really keep things simple, put a couple cues on a couple buttons, you know, five or six, and that way it's easy for someone to run back and get great results every time. 
So let's do a sermon look here. I'm going to go ahead and um, turn off. Let's turn off the washes and the beams for a welcome slash sermon look. We'll keep the spots on. We'll keep the pars on. We'll put everybody in a different color. So now I'm just going to go ahead. Maybe we put everybody in a nice amber. And then we take those spots only. Maybe we put them in a violet. Perfect. Go find a new place to put these. Maybe towards the center since it's the sermon. Killer. And so now we can go ahead and also get our front lights on. Just reactivate that. Go ahead and record this to our sermon. Slash, um, you know, I guess it could be welcome slash sermon. You could split these out if you want, or if you want to keep it simple, just do one. And then once you've got your basic looks set up, maybe you'll do some different looks after the service. Maybe you won't. But setting this up for your volunteers is really just as easy as, say, we were using the playback buttons. I'll copy this up here. I would literally then just go and sketch out my service as it would run. So I'll add a few more buttons here. And so we'd go pre-service music, welcome. Um, then I would copy again. I like to do this in order, so it's really easy for volunteers. So I can literally just copy music again and put a, another one over here. Then I could go ahead and do sermon. Then there's probably music after the sermon. And then there's probably a walkout. So we could actually rename this. We'll click on it and go to our QList values window. Oops, not welcome sermon. We actually want pre-service. Call it pre slash post. And there we have it. So then running the whole services method for a volunteer is really as simple as just clicking the buttons. So we click this first button, start of the service. Boom. Then we click the next one or press it on the screen. Then we press the next one, the next one, and we just keep going. And it lights up every time to let you know which one you clicked last. So you just keep going forward. And it's really that simple. So for this example, of course, I kept things pretty simple over the stage as a whole. And so I didn't use uh, a lot of different looks, but you could totally go in here, program some different looks for the different parts of your sermon service, rather. Maybe you change it up from week to week. Maybe you don't. Uh, maybe you change it up by series, etc. The The whole service method, though, in, in, at its core, is really all about making it easy for you, whoever you are that are programming the lights for your church, the tech person, volunteer, whoever, and making it easier for your volunteers to play back. So while there's not a lot of complexity here, there's not a lot of excitement to this lighting, it gives you the basics and allows you to have something that's really low maintenance and really reliable.